Okay, so let's begin. First thing that we need to do is go to the start menu. And my start menu is at the top left of my screen. And I shall attempt to select my start menu here. And I'm going to type backup in the search section. Pulls up the option for backup and restore. If you guys can see that at the top of my screen here and then it pulls up this option here for the backup I'm gonna to go to my computer to show you the external hard drive this is the external hard drive here new volume J now I'm gonna click on manage space for you guys to get a clear look at the uh, space in my system and this is all on the um, external hard drive so now I'll go ahead and just close that out and I'm gonna go to change settings just for you guys to you know get a understanding of these various features and options in the backup menu but when I select this um, it's just taking a few moments here but it should pull up and this is just going to give me some variety of options where I could actually change the backup I could set it up on a different uh, hard drive um, or different external device. For this video I'm going to go ahead and just select the same one that I just inserted new volume J and it also gives you the description and tell you how much uh, space you have free for your backup. I'll go ahead and click next Now once you click next after selecting where you want to uh, back up your your file or back up your image, um, there's two options. You could select to choose let Windows choose, which is always the best option because that's going to back up all the Windows file as well as um, you know all those critical files that you that your system needs as, as well as your personal data as well. Um, you could also choose to let yourself choose you know what what files you want to back up which you know that's optional I mean you could always do that but um, I'm gonna go ahead and select that it's gonna give you some options here um, where you could actually select if you want to select your personal files and stuff like that um, different users but for this option um, we're not going to actually select different files and personal stuff like that we're going to just have Windows uh, do the recommended backup now when Windows does the recommended backup of course now the backup is starting here but it's basically going to create a image of my system and what is the image well image is basically it's like a clone of your hard drive it has all the same data everything that um, you currently have stored on your hard drive will be stored on that uh, image file which is really cool I mean so if your hard drive crashes you can always try to restore it by using that same image file um, and of course you know nobody likes when you lose all your data it's never a good thing to lose all your data so this you'll always have all your uh, personal data save to this external hard drive and you won't have to worry now in this um, video as you guys can see here uh, I kinda speed it up and um, I pause it several times because it does take a while when you're backing up your system keep in mind that it's backing up all your all your data all your user files and um, 
and pretty much it's it's going to take some time depending on your resources on your computer you know um depending on the ram and stuff like that just regular resources on your system um as you guys can see i'm still kind of pausing the video keep you know and keep fast forwarding it sort of now it's actually at about 45 percent um and it's still going now the best thing when you're backing up your computer is just to let it do its own thing because if you're using the computer um, it's going to take a longer time for it to complete the backup so it's always good if you're backing up the system I mean you could still use it but it's always recommended that you, you know just probably walk away for a little bit if you're using it and you have to use it that's fine it's just keep in mind that the backup will take a longer time now it's at 75 percent and as you guys can see no problem so far still going and uh, it says here that it's still creating an image on this off the C drive so great now it's at 81 percent and um, one thing you just have to have a lot of patience you know just let it continue to do its thing as long as your computer is not frozen or anything like that you just want to continue to have it just run its course and once it's done it will notify you once the backup is complete if you guys could check right here I'm just checking the uh, space on the hard drive storage um, and it also tells you that the backup is in progress so just in case you forgot now the backup right now is almost completed if you guys could see that it's just about done and now it's done and the cool thing is that it tells you here um, when your next backup is so now it's completely finished I'm going to go ahead and close this out for you alright and that's it but it's very easy and it's always just quick thing just to check and make sure that your backup is set for next time if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment thanks for watching